All right, guys, Sea Serpent's channel. Today is Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. And I'm running through these tubs again real quick. I do this just about every day. And uh, Christine's, uh, this is all fresh. Water, bedding, all that, you know. Um, but she had uh, pooed, you know. So uh, I got that all cleaned out and everything, and I'm, you know, holding her and stuff. So I thought, you know, let me go ahead and just do a quick little gig on her again here. Just show this little girl off. This is my favorite Western hognose out of my whole uh, hognose collection of five. This little girl here is actually my favorite uh, because... Um, I got her from uh, Jermaine uh, Shovel Nose Hogs. And um, when she was born in early June, she came in, uh, she was the runt of the litter, and she came in at one gram when he uh, weighed her. And she came from a really moldy egg. And um, if you check out his videos, you know, go back about six months ago, uh, and he's got videos when this little, this little one actually was the first one to pip too, out of that little clutch of, I believe it was five eggs. And even though uh, her egg was moldy and everything, uh, and he was, he was almost gonna, you know, ditch it. And he decided to wait the extra week. And then actually, like I say, she was the first one to pip whoop, out of the others. And, um, and of course, like I say, she, you know, she was a runt. Uh, smallest of everybody else, so, you know, but, um, you know, look at how she's come in, you know, seven months, whatever now, you know, how long she's come. So she's a 50% albino, 50% leucistic, western hog. She's got that beautiful, like, solid head. Most of the babies in those, he had actually two clutches. Uh, most of the babies had these head stamps that were, you know, pretty dark uh, for the most part. Um, and, of course, they retained their red coloring from their father, uh, Curry. But, um, yeah, the uh, solid head stamp. I think this one had the most solid of all of them head stamp here. So between that and the fact that she was the little one gram female, you know, just, uh, I made a run for her to, to get her. I wanted to definitely give her a good home and, and have her, uh, in my collection as a, you know, forever, uh, snake here. So a little backstory on this one here, actually. And like I say, you guys check out shovel nose hogs and, you know, um, you know, he's quality uh, uh, through and through and produces some really beautiful, healthy uh, baby hognose snakes. So anyway, all right, we'll go ahead and get her in her little tub here. If she wants to, um, there she goes, let go of my hand. So anyway, like I said, she's my favorite of my five. She is absolutely the favorite. Actually, she's the favorite of all my snakes, period. So, I'm just gonna duck. All right. All right, well, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up here. So, all right, guys, take care.